Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this short video in the series of rotary tools. In this video, we're going to be going over the Dremel engraver. I'm going to tell you why I like this. If you've got any questions or concerns, leave it, leave it in the comment section below, or you can shoot me an email, squirrelsawvideo at gmail.com. Appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button below. Okay, here's the actual tool. I don't know the model number right off the top of my head, but I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe this is the only one that Dremel has on the market right now. Very careful to use. Has a rubber grip right here. This is your on and off right here in the back. And this is your speed very basic functions. So I'm going to turn it on for you. On button. This is on low. This is on high. Now it does come with this protective rubber piece that goes over the engraving bit. Uh, not much you can say about this. Uh, very lightweight. So let's see what what it can do. I have a piece of wood here. Turn it on. This might be hard to see in a camera, but you can see right here I wrote my name, Carl. Now this does, on high, it goes down into the wood probably a 32nd of an inch, maybe. Deep enough where you can read it. Now, the ideal thing to do would, would be paint this or put a stain on it. That way when you... Listen, I have a board over here somewhere. Here we go. Let's try this one. Turn it on. hard to pick up in the camera but I can see it very nice tool I, I like this thing I would encourage it now this is an older version that I have this is the older older version this is the newer version basically the same tool but this one's upgraded now this is the one my daughter She's approaching 30 years old now, and when she was four or five years old, I used to have her, have her in my shop with me working all the time, and she used to love getting this engraver and writing her name in wood or plastic or even little bits of metal that she would find. She used to spend hours in the shop with me, great father-daughter time. So th this is why I would recommend you getting this for your shop. Give it to your kids, give it to your grandkids. This might be the first power tool they ever use. Now this power tool does have many uses. And once you buy one, you'll, you'll understand it. Um, one more thing I can show you. You can change the tip out. There's a little screw in the bottom. Flathead screw. I'm going to. Take this out. So this is the tip oh, right here. And I did find out that you can go to eBay or anywhere, any woodworking supply store, 
Home Depot. I don't well, I don't know if Home Depot sells these or not, but these are different assorted engraving bits. You can. Uh, this is lo longer than the uh, etching bit, but you can put these into the Dremel etcher. I'm a dent Dremel engraving tool. So let's give that a shot here. Let me screw this down. Okay, that's pretty secure in there. Let's get this board back up here and see what happens. up to the camera where you can see it better. So this does accept the additional engraving bits, but my preference would be to take these bits let's see, let's get one out of there. Take one of these bits and cut off about half inch, five eighths of an inch or so. So the actual the tip would be shorter, so it won't have much sticking out. So if you cut off half inch or so and have it sticking out approximately this far, you have much better control over the tool. Oh, I forgot this. This little template does come with the engraver. The bit fits nicely into here. A little nice addition. So I appreciate you watching. Give me a, I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you'd like to add something, tell me I did something wrong. I'd appreciate any comment that you'd send. I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, I'd like to add something, tell me I did something wrong. I'd appreciate any comment that you'd send.